That's my shame. So, now, we have a coconut, right? Right here. We're gonna take this out. I'm gonna use all of this with my shrimp, right? Make some coconut shrimp, right? And we have our baby bok choy. We're gonna clean that up. Dry thyme, bell pepper, mini sweet bell pepper. And we have a garlic. What am I missing? Oh, yeah. need some pepper, a habanero pepper to be exact. Now, there's only one thing I want to complain about these pepper is, you see these pepper, habanero pepper, they're not hot at all. They're not hot, they're least. It look good and everything may taste good in your food, but there's no heat to it whatsoever. Telling you, I used some of this yesterday. I'm still waiting to feel the pepper. No, if I go to the Caribbean store, I'll get some ghost pepper, or you can call it brown pepper or black pepper if you want. But it would be much better going to Caribbean and get real pepper because I don't know where these grow. Two to one, Mexico, mm -hmm. because it's too cold here to grow. Unless it's in the summer. But we're gonna use two of them because there's no heat on it. Right? So we're gonna season up for shrimp with some dry rub. Right? And I'm gonna show you the dry rub I'm gonna use. Right? Alright my peeps, so My dry rub for my, for my shrimp. Alright, so my dry rub is gonna be see all purpose Maggie. The cool runnings, garlic, pepper and herbs. We have some dry basil, I mean parsley. We have some lemon pepper. And some all purpose seasoning. And I think that's how I'm gonna use for this fresh for mushroom. So may look like I'm throwing off people, but these all so small, I don't know what they were thinking. Right? Then we're gonna use some all purple seasoning. Garlic, pepper and herbs from Cool Runnings. And then lemon pepper. All right, so that is it for now. And then we're gonna cut up some garlic, onion, scallion, thyme. And what I'm gonna do when I'm cutting them up, I'll show you. I'm gonna it's gonna mix up with this, not in the pot, but inside this, right here, right now, right. It's a different way of doing it. You can do it, cut it up, and then start to um, stir fry the vegetable first. But I'm gonna season up everything. I'm gonna cut these up. I'm gonna mix them up with this before I put it on the fire. And I shall show you. 
I'm just making some people are making some I'm making some turmeric tea called um, turmeric ginger tea uh, it's, it's more like juice I'm making anyways I'm making some turmeric turmeric ginger juice and then I'm gonna make it cool down put it in the fridge you know so that you drink it every day really right and so right now what I'm doing is I'm boiling the ginger before you put the turmeric in right the ginger got to be extracted from it all right my people so it's my water bottle in the water bottle so no oh, throw some lemon juice in the water all right that's all I need uh, this is for this <coughs> Lemon water. Let me see your taste now. Yeah, it's all right. All right, my peeps. So, without further ado, Coconut. All right. Recycle. Cycle reel. I gotta put this in there something better than this. I have to put it in something better than this. Okay. Uh, much better. Nice. Get my coconut to tie out. So now we're gonna put this over here. Right? I'm gonna cut up all of these. I'll take care of the baby bag tray when I'm finished. Gonna wash that up, clean it up, and then. And we have some frozen vegetables as well. That we're gonna have to the shrimp. People, let me cut up how to get all these these things ready. Right. 
I'm just using my finger to strip these things, man, really. I could use a knife to make it easier, but sometimes you got to challenge yourself. this with I guess we're gonna have some pasta and some pasta with this so we're gonna have wait, let me see um, the pasta what do I want to use with this now we have um, corn pasta These things are so expensive Ah, oh, we can use These ones, I like these ones So I use these to make some pasta Which is great So we're gonna have some shrimp Pasta with um, baby bok choy mm? But I'm not cooking supper yet I just want to season it and marinate it, right? Because it's still early. Just two o'clock. Right? Time change over, right? So finally, you, you, time change. So we actually are in spring. It's March 10th or 11th now, I think. I think it's March 11th now, but we are officially at spring. Yeah, people, I should show you what's going on on my stove. I'm making some turmeric ginger juice. As you know, you're doing something like that, the turmeric have to boil. The turmeric have to cook good, okay? It won't kill you, but it will run your belly if you don't do it the proper way. Curry is the same thing. Right? If you don't cook curry good, it will clean you up inside, really. That's what they call it. You like getting a washout. That's what it, that's what you, it would do. But it won't kill you. It's more give you a good big washout. See, I use the whole head of garlic, every bit of it. When I'm cooking people, I use lots of garlic. Yeah. All right, so get rid of this then. Start to cook. I mean, cut my stuff up. Alright. 
All right, people. So now let's wash these things up. So, without further ado, bell pepper, mini bell pepper, onion, tomato. And my garlic. That is it. So now I want to cut up this first. Actually, no, I cut up this first. Cut up the garlic. I can't afford to waste my, my herbs and spice on the floor. Alright, people, chop these things up. Alright, that's my garlic. Set this aside for a minute. I want to see if those seeds will grow. I'm going to try and grow them and see if they don't grow. Now, cut these bad boy up.
turn it inside way. people so now that fell up every time I cut up season if something drop on the ground it won't go good so you know, it's what it is I can't worry about it all right cut up my green bell pepper cut up seasoning it just have to fall on the ground some of it have to Yeah, my people. chop this thing up and I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna do it different uh, different this time around usually I prepare this first and then throw in the shrimp in it but this time I want to add everything in that mix it up season it up properly make it uh, make it soak in for about an hour two hour right that's what I want to do that way you can get more of the, the fresh herbs and spice in it Alright, cut up my purple onion. 
but I want to cut it up, you know? Yeah, just like that. Nice. This knife is sharp. Trust me, people. This knife, you gotta be careful. All right, nice. Where you going? Go back here. I'm gonna chop your pine. Every time, people, every time, you always have to drop. Trust me. Somebody in the afterlife needs some spice, so it's okay. These pepper are not hot, really. I'm disappointed in it. And the color scotch around it. And the only reason they're not hot, you know why? They force grow this thing to it, they force and grow it. You understand know I me? Mean? Pepper will take its time and grow. They, 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 you know, they throw so much chemical on this to push it to reach the size of picking real early. You understand know I me? Mean? And that time the pepper grow, but it's not, it have no flavor in it. It have no, it have no buzz. But, okay see even peace gone to the afterlife they need pepper too so they get peace all right so all my seasoning ready tomato i'm cutting up this time i'm using the seed in it because i'm going to use um coconut milk so cut that up Pepper. All right. Now my people, everything cut up, right? My shrimp is in pot. See? We'll make sure my camera is showing good so you guys can see what time is it. All right. All right. So now, peeps, what I'm gonna do is. to throw everything in my shrimp Oh, tomatoes. Show what I mean. It doesn't even matter. Ah, the only thing never dropped far. Tomatoes. So the afterlife want tomatoes too. Okay, you get some. Now what? 
the Rema people. I'm going to see it up and then I'll bring it on and show it to you. But this, all this stuff that I don't even touch the ground yet because I'm dealing with this. So I got to wait until I'm finished. Oh, time. I'm going to put some dry time in it. Alright. See, a piece of dry time. It's too dry. I don't want the leaf to fall off because that's the main thing I want. But you gotta rinse it off, right? And then you're gonna take the root off, put the rest in. That's it. Now I'm gonna season it up. But before I season it up, I'm gonna throw a little bit of herbs and spice on the top. These things, man, these oils. Alright, nice. And some um, parsley. Alright, my people. Without further ado. Alright, people, I'm going to bring you guys down for a minute. So you can see what I'm doing, my people. Now, peeps. It's my shrimp and everything is inside this, right? So now, what we do, I want to mix them up with the shrimp. Then, as you can see, usually I would separate them until on the fire, but no, this time, this is how I want to do it. Right? You do it that way and then you're gonna cover it up. So by the time you cover it up, all these herbs and spices that you put in, the garlic, everything else, you know the time the leaf will the time leaf you now it will strip because it's dry time which is good right my peeps so that's what we're doing right now stir them up all the shrimp everything in it okay and by the time we're ready my peeps look at it all right my people that's what I'm talking about right here. Look at that, people. You know, people, look at that. I love cooking, you know. I really do enjoy cooking. And look at that. It's true that I don't really, I don't eat red meat no more, so I don't really, I can't cook it. But if I cook it, I have to go donate it. Right, because I cannot go back on the word. Right? No more red meat. So look at that now, people. That's my shrimp with all the trimmings in it. And that I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover that up and make it stay like that. I'll feed the next two hours before I cook it. Right, and then when I cook it, I'll make a different video when it's gonna when it's in the pot or off the pot, off the fire. Remember people, and then over here now, when I'm in this part now, the ginger, right? So I want the ginger to boil real good, so it boil until the, the water turns black. Because no, this ginger been boiling for a while. And then I'm gonna put some turmeric and lemon in it, with a tip of black pepper. So now I'm gonna clean up my bok choy, chop them up, right? and get everything prepared. Now I've done all of that food. Right, all my shrimp is finished, so that's good. Right, so now that's this finished now, so uh, I'm gonna wash out my hands. So I need a bag. I'm gonna put it in this. I'm not gonna throw it out, I'm just gonna put the whole pot in it. Right. And what I'm gonna do, seal it up. Right. I want no ear in and no ear out. I want it to marinate it properly, right? So that's what we're trying to do, peeps. All right. 
My shrimp is ready to go. All right, now my bok choy. I'm gonna cook up these bok choy, but I'm not gonna cook too much of it because I still have a lot more in the fridge. I'm gonna cook my bok choy with, with the, I have some of the uses that left, so may as well finish these ones. Cut out the head of them before I wash them up. All right, my piece. And then I need a pot for the for for this for these things now, right? So I'm gonna use this. Alright my people, let me trim this up. You see? I'm gonna use this pot. Once you chop up in them, they're still gonna rinse off again, right? You have to rinse them again. That's the cooking business. All right, so now, let me rinse these off now. Leave me back choice.
All right, my people. Cut up my baby bok choy. Everything up to fall. And then let's, let's dry up this water before this water starts to run all over the place. Okay. So now, now that we cut them up, we're gonna, you know throw some lemon juice on it. What we're gonna do, throw some lemon juice. I'm gonna wash them with the lemon juice. Alright, put some salt on it. Wash it nicely. So now, I'm going to wash this thing off, right, with some, with some uh, lemon water, lemon juice, and some salt. But in cold water, not warm water. Warm water is a little more, make it trickle down. Alright, nice. That is it, people. Now I'm gonna get my strainer. Uh, I should use this on the next one. Oh, this one is bigger. All right. Let's First, we're gonna drain the water off without the strainer. So. Whatever in it, let it run off. All right, then you get a second rinse. One minute, my people. Let me get a.
right, my people, welcome back. I just have to turn off the TV in the room. Right, I can't hear it, and I don't. When I'm making a video, I don't want to hear it. All right, now, rinse off my hand. Continue with my, rinse off my food. Just want to drain out the rest of the water. All right. Nice. Nice. All right, my peeps. So now we just want we don't want all this garlic we just want a couple pegs right okay we have garlic and everything else but if you're gonna cook I mean, cook something like this you need garlic and thyme in it really so all right if you definitely you guys can cook it the way you choose when i'm cooking it i need everything in it All right, that's good enough. That's good for garlic. All right.
bitch. So no. Nice. Cut these up. Put it inside of this. All right, my peeps. my people garlic cut up This and now I just want to make sure I'll show you the thing we've got my people. Let me cut this up and bring it down. I'll show you what I did and what I didn't do. them to be all in one then you come out of the pot they're still in one you want them all over the place they gotta be all over the pot see? so it work you make some nice food all right the onion people the onion is, the onion is you know it's burning my hand it's not a bad thing. When onion burning high, it's good for the back of your high, cause you kind of clean it out. You know, cause when it burning high, your high gonna run water, right? It just cleaning out the back of your high, so you get good vision, right? Don't rub your high. Just deal with it, really. All right, my peeps. This wet, you cannot use this again. So you put that in the recycle. All right, peeps, remember bring it out. Oh. Did I put time in this yet, no? foot off the root I know it's not the foot and then what we're gonna throw on this not much just we're gonna throw some garlic I mean garlic pepper and herbs from cooling it again this thing all right then we're gonna put a little bit of lemon pepper. We 
with some dry paste parsley. All right, the people. And this can pull away. This is black pepper in this. All right. And that's that. All purpose Maggie. All right, my peeps. Put back this in a bag because You gotta keep my time in something, right? Because through dry leaves, it will just fall off all over the place. I don't want that. And then I gotta throw some more water in my ginger. Throw some more water in my ginger to make it boil. Then I'll throw in the turmeric. But I'll show you guys on that too. All right, people, let me bring you down. Let me bring you down. Let me PMD, man. Let me put you down, what's going on? So this is it, my people, my baby bok choy with celery and some herbs and spice on it, like onion, scallion, garlic, thyme. You understand me? Sweet bell pepper is on that, All right? So that is ready. Right, but we ain't gonna do it now. We just get everything ready for the next two hours, and then by the time we're done, we just have to just put everything on. Right, my peep, and then over here, where's my shrimp? Where did I put it? Oh, okay, it's right here. My shrimp is right here. Okay, right, so I don't know you can't see the bag right now, but it's right there. My shrimp with everything in it, done. No, my ginger. This is all compost. Now well, my ginger is boiled, right? So it keep boiling. So now, what are we gonna do now, right? I'm gonna throw some turmeric in that ginger, but I use organic turmeric, see? Organic. I don't use, I don't want the next one. I don't wanna use the next one. I don't like it, really. It's different, the color is different. Oh, come on, let's... All right, come on, man. All right, turmeric in, right? That's supposed to be good enough. And then that's gonna boil. It's gonna boil and boil and boil. That my peeps. I'm making some ginger, I'm making some turmeric ginger juice. So so I'm gonna put more water in it so the water come all the way up. Alright. If you guys never try turmeric juice, trust me, man, you guys are missing out. Otherwise, for it, good for your body, it's good for your brains, it's good for your high, it's good for everything. Basically, do your own research. That's why I always tell my subscribers and viewers, you know, do your own research and it will tell you what everything is good for. Otherwise, it's delicious, man. When you make it the right way, the way I'm making it, you cook them, you boil the ginger first. Make them, you want the ginger boiled right out. When you taste it, it tastes like pepper. Then you put in the turmeric, make it boil. 
and you're gonna have water on it that you're gonna boil. And then after that done, when it's finished, then you're gonna put some lemon in it and a little tips, use your finger, tips of black pepper, you know? Like this much now, you will put in you know, a two tips, right? So when I mean two tips, these two, pick up the black pepper, tip, tip, and put in it. You don't need that much black pepper. Lemon juice, you can put about um, less than less than a quarter of a glass in it. Cause lemon juice is really the acid is really strong, right? You don't want it to take it over. You don't want it to blend with it. Right, to give you a good combination of what your body need or what your body what's good for your body as I think I do much research before I do this and I've been drinking turmeric tea and turmeric juice a long time now long long time people so all right my peeps that is it for now so now what I got to do I got to close off this video and then two hours later I'll be back I'll be back to finish set it up. Right. So this is already done. But what I need to do with this, what I need to do right now, stir it up. Right? All right. Okay. Look at that here. for people everything is done and ready for later on let me show you before I blog off people and you know let me say thank you guys thank you for all the subscribers I have thank you for the viewers thank you everybody send for watch like share subscribe you know Flint food adventure and you can check out Rupert Flint TV as well people thank you very much and I'm going to show you the mix-up. Look at the mix-up now, it's look. Uh, you know, technically speaking, it can eat just like that. Just, you don't have to cook it. This is baby bok choy. I use this to make smoothie, really. And when I'm making smoothie, basically everything is in it, except for the, the powder seasoning, you know, the garlic, pepper and herbs yes I would put it in my smoothie but everything I use to make smoothie the, the pepper the onion the skelly and the thyme right we don't need no hot pepper in this one right the hot pepper is in this my shrimp so that is it people I'm gonna put this in the fridge until later so people love like share subscribe tell a friend tell a friend until the next video my people enough love and respect in honor, I'm saying I'm a Jamaican, and please, you guys go to Jamaica, man. Go visit Jamaica. Don't listen to the government talk about Jamaica is a warning. There's no such thing. Okay, I know my country. Okay, it, the only problem that my country have is a lot of people there right now, a lot of tourists, and then these tourists they start to find out it's not true. You know what you hear on the media and visit for yourself. Nobody is gonna trouble you, man. Nobody gonna trouble you. Just watch these bloggers and see what they do. Jamaica nice. Jamaica to the world. Okay? We want everybody to go there. We want Americans to go there. See? Because we live America there. Okay? We live here. So we want them to go there to enjoy that country too. Like I'm enjoying your country, you have the right to enjoy my country. Don't make the government tell you about blah, blah, blah. You know it's not true, I know it's not true. Until the next one, people, one love. Go visit Jamaica. It's beautiful. Lots of food on the trees, underneath the ground. If you don't believe me, go check it out. All right, people, bless up. Until the next one, people.